is Sacramento State out of the big sky. We think of the big sky as being, if not the preeminent conference in the, in the FCS, certainly in within the top two. Watching them the past two weeks, I mean, I can see them running the table the rest of the year and winning the FCS championship. Wow. Uh, you know, they're not flashy. Uh, they're, you know, they're quarterbacks. It's an interesting mix there. Their senior quarterback really relies on the short passing game, getting the ball out to back to backs, short note sideline passes to the receivers to help control the ball. But they also have a sophomore quarterback in Asher O'Hara that's more of a running quarterback and and that's how he gets things done you know on you know on the ground is is with his legs they need to control time of possession in order to win football games and the big challenge with them facing Idaho is Idaho leads the FCS in time of possession so these are two teams that are literally having to take their their best attributes attributes and beat their opponent who has the same attribute. So so it's it's a fascinating game. Idaho had a huge huge win in Missoula against then number 2 or number 3 depending on on the poll you were looking at Montana. You had to bring it up. Yeah. Well, and Montana Lost, you know, lost last week. Some controversy there. Mm -hmm. There was a blown call that allowed the game to go to overtime to allow Sacramento State to really force its will in overtime in order to beat Montana. But that's what impressed me. They they took advantage of an opportunity. You prefer it not to be because of a flag or because of a referee. You prefer it to be because something happened on the field or a turnover. But they took that opportunity. They seized it. They beat Montana. FCS, and again, I'm extremely biased. I love watching FCS football because you don't necessarily have a bunch of five-star recruits, but you have guys that that have chips on their shoulders that want to prove that they can not only play at the next level, that they've been overlooked. And sometimes it's guys that came from an FBS program coming down here, finally being given an opportunity to show what they have. The deciding factor is, will Giovanni McRae, the quarterback, Actually, it's McCoy. No, I, I always get my McCrae's and McCoy's um, confused. Uh, for Idaho, if, if he can control the ball, he's a great game manager, and he showed that in the, that win over Montana. He has a nice balance of receivers and backs that he he can control. You know that march to the sea, if you will, or march to the big sky in this case, not march to the sea. So it would not surprise me. Both teams are four and zero in the Big Sky. So the winner of this game has the inside track to get that automatic conference bid. But but basically, in other words, to improve their seeding, maybe get that first week by in the playoffs. Uh, it, it, it's it's going to be a fascinating game. It's going to be a low scoring game. It's going to be a more traditional football game. It's not going to be the high power pyrotechnics you're not going to have you know the tennessees and the jackson state kind of offensive dynamics on display here but it's good old-fashioned football it's fcs football especially for the west for for the western schools you have a lot more of that smash smash mouth going on going on Mm -hmm. so for me it's the game the two games that i want to watch most are both fcs it's holy cross fordham it's Idaho, Sacramento State. And Sacramento State, if they can take care of Idaho handily, I think now you're going to start 
getting more votes for them to be the number one team in FCS. Because for whatever reason, the number two ranked team in FCS never gets first place votes. And I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get, how can that be? But it, it was that way when it was, you know, when South Dakota State was number two, it never got first place votes. It's now the number one team in the country. You know, it, it was always the number three or the number four team that got first place votes, but not the number two team, but so many people view Sacramento state as the second best team, you know, in the, in the, in the division, in the subdivision that perhaps maybe they start getting a little bit of love in the coaches poll. Well, I mean, Idaho took care of Montana who was undefeated at one point. Now they have an mm -hmm. opportunity to take care of Sacramento state. If you're going to pay attention to an FCS game this week, I know Jackson state Southern is a really important one to pay attention to, but this one is at nine o'clock at night on Eastern on ESPN plus. So, you don't have a lot of competition. It's a good one to pay attention to.